You just tuned in to the Tiger Toledo Show. Remember that shit I gave you last week, nigga? It's nothing, nigga. It's nothing. It's nothing, nigga. Nigga, it's nothing. This shit right here, nigga. Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing hitman, your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo, and you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best, you heard? Welcome to the Tiger Toledo Show for another episode. Sheesh. Oh my gosh, man. So last night, uh, me and the wifey did some heavy lifting. Let's just say that. We did a lot of heavy lifting. This morning, my back was in excruciating pain. I was moving like a 90-year-old that hasn't worked out ever, right? And I'm in like crazy pain. Hey, 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 hey. So I took an ibuprofen. I dropped my daughter off at school. And I headed to the health club in pain y'all I mean like really bad pain the the type of pain that would make you call in to work and say I'm not coming in today I'm I'm not forget it so I get into the gym and I'm immediately I don't I, I I bypass all the weights I bypass the treadmill and everything and I tell the dude yo Put me on the massage chair immediately. Por favor. I do 20 minutes on the massage chair. I get off the massage chair. I go directly to the stretching area. I have to stretch out my back. I'm like, this is too much right now. It's unbearable. Then after I do some stretching, I feel, you know, the muscles lengthen and you know the tendons just start to stretch i hear some some air pockets where you know you turn and then you hear the pop you know what i mean those are air pockets right and i'm I'm hearing it pop and i'm like oh okay it's i'm starting to feel some relief the ibuprofen didn't kick in yet but i'm starting to feel some relief so i go back over to the desk and i say hey look man i need the hydro massage chair right now my dude Run that. He puts it on. I isolate my lower back. And I start to feel so much better. Then I said, you know what? I'm ready for the treadmill. But before I go into the treadmill, I'll do some more stretching where I, you know, I'll do a dead hang. I'll just hold on like where I would do my pull-ups. I would just do a dead hang and let gravity take its course and just let everything just flow down this will help elongate and and stretch out your back right so again i hear more popping i'm like oh oh my god this feels great then i get on the treadmill and i feel so much better now so much better and it brings me to this point where Being an entrepreneur, yes, it is an intellectual sport, without a doubt. But the more and more that I I play this entrepreneurial game, the more I realize that being an entrepreneur really isn't different from working out. And for those that don't know, or maybe this is your first time uh, tuning into my show, uh... I have a very extensive background in the health club industry. I did personal training. I did sales. I was a sales manager at one point. I ran the pro shop. I know about myoplex and I know about protein shakes and all kind of stuff. So I've been in the health club industry for over 10 years. But I I never put the two together, believe it or not. I never put the two together. Now... I worked at Bally Total Fitness, which is like, that's my alma mater, right? Like, I love that place because that's where I cut my teeth at. That's where I learned sales. And where I learned sales over there, it wasn't that weak, passive, 
soft baby cake snowflake type bullshit. It was hard core. Hardcore sales. And that's why they were able to build 360 locations nationwide. We were the number one. Hands down. There was no other health club on the planet Earth that was competing with Bally Total Fitness. None. And I worked there. Now, for those that know about Bally's and people say, uh, is that Bally's like Bally's Casino? Yes. The same people that ran Bally's Casino are the same people that rolled out Bally Total Fitness. Now, get this. Lee Hillman was the CEO. He was embezzling money. I think his ass is in prison now, but that, that was the downfall of Bally's. But guess what? Bally's is coming back to Chicago and this time they're building a casino. <laughs> Go figure. It's like a full turnaround. Like they 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 lost their business and then now they're back. But I'm th- trust me, I'm bringing this to a very strong point because I have to illustrate the story for you guys. So, I worked at Bally Total Fitness for about seven and a half years, then I worked at Lifetime Fitness. Now, Lifetime Fitness is the Ritz-Carlton of health clubs. They are the Rolex, the Louis Vuitton of purses when it comes to health clubs. They are the, I want to say like, if I didn't illustrate it with the Ritz-Carlton of it, they are the top of the top. Now, their approach when it came to sales was very different. Their approach was more on a consultative basis. See, in Bally Total Fitness, we used to have to wear, you know, we would wear our polo and then we would have our workout pants on. You know, the squish squish pants, as my wife would call it. But we would have some, you know, sweatpants. Now, at Lifetime Fitness, we had to dress up in a shirt and tie. Because it catered to a whole different demographics. Now, when I first started, I was at Orland Park. But then I realized that most of the money was made in grand openings. So there was another grand opening that was happening in Burr Ridge, Burr Ridge, Illinois. And I immediately put my request to get transferred over there because I knew I was going to touch seven, ten grand in that grand opening. Easy. I went over to Burr Ridge, did the grand opening. Great, right? Now, I got fired from that club, by the way. But I'll tell you why I got fired. There hasn't been a job that I've worked for that I did not have a side hustle. Now, for those that know my history, um, when I saw my mom get fired at the age of 16, 15, I believe, I felt helpless. I said I never wanted to be in a situation like that ever in life. So anytime I was in the workforce, I was always reaching and punching and scraping and grabbing and breaking necks trying to become an entrepreneur full time. So... Lifetime Fitness was no different. Bally Total Fitness was no different. Me working at Chuck E. Cheese, my first job ever was no different. I had a side hustle in every single job that I've ever worked for because I knew I I can't be here long. I'm not going to be here long. See, I'm, I'm a strong believer of it's okay to burn bridges. Because at least when you burn these bridges, you give yourself a way of not going back. It's when you put these plan B's in place, man, that you start to feel the, the, the punch in the face. Because you never attacked your plan A with savage, savagery. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to coin this phase right here. There's too many chiefs. And not enough savage beasts. 
So I'm working at Bal- uh, Lifetime Fitness in Burr Ridge, and let me tell you, there's a different class of people over there, man. Those people, a lot of them that come through there, they have reached a very high level of success. Burr Ridge is a place where the income is probably in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions, easily. The homes over there are million dollar homes. So the type of people that were coming to the health club, these cats had Ferraris. These cats had Rolls Royces. Like, I've never seen that type of wealth coming into a location like that. So, of course, me wanting to be an entrepreneur, that is like my desire, my dream. Like, f- like that's it. That's, that's what I need to be. That is my home, to be an entrepreneur. Of course, I'm going to pick the brains of these highly successful people. These cats loved me so much that they would bring me. Now, mind you, I'm not, I don't follow sports at all. I could care less. Look, Tom Brady could walk past me at, at, at Target and I would not know who he is. I know his name because it gets thrown around a lot, but I don't know sports at all. I don't follow it. I don't care to follow it. I'm probably not going to follow it no time soon in the future. But these cats loved me so much out there. Now, one, one thing I didn't like is that I was a token black, right? Now, I wasn't really feeling that. They, they made me the token black in that location, which was foul. But I was like, all right, well, if y'all going to do that, watch what I do, right? So I was the spook that sat behind the door. So these cats would bring me floor, floor tickets to the Chicago Bulls game. Now, my roommate at the time, Jimmy P, was, is a big f- sports fanatic. And he worked at the Orland Park Lifetime Fitness. He didn't get to see that type of privilege, right? That, that kind of wealth of being circulated, um, to be around the, type, the caliber of people that I was. Not saying that the Orland Park people weren't successful, but not at the level that these Burr Ridge people were. You know what I'm saying? Um. So I would be like, yo, I got some tickets uh, for the Bulls game. You want them and shit? He was like, what? He, like, he sees the floor tickets. He's like, them shits was a buck 75 a piece. Easy. Right? So he's like, nah, let's just go through. So I would go to the games with him and check it out. Not my cup of tea. Floor, t- floor seats, nosebleed, same experience for me. I mean, I'm not the type to watch people have fun. I want to have fun. I want to participate. I don't want... I never like being a spectator. I enjoy being a participator. Right? So, one thing that I noticed is that, like, when I would interview these high performers to sell them on a membership, right, a lot of them had Bally Total Fitness memberships. And I already knew the type of uh, play Bally Total Fitness was playing. Now, what level of success were they at when they were working out at Bally Total Fitness? So that's where, you know, like, that's where you could start seeing the coalition with being a high performer in any aspects of life. It doesn't even just have to be business, but we're I'm a businessman, so I, I tie things with business. These people worked out. There is when you work out, okay, here's the thing. And let me let me start tying the two together. When I would sell memberships to potential clients. Many of them either worked out at some point or they never worked out at all, right? Now, the ones that never worked out at all or been out of the loop for a very long time, 
they would need guidance. They would get, they would always sign up for an orientation with a personal trainer. Now, the ones that were serious about their goals, serious about their goals, you hear me? I'm going to say it again. Serious about their goals, meaning I have a wedding to go to in June. I'm trying to lose X amount of weight so I can fit this dress. The fellas would be like, man, I used to play sports when I was in high school. I'm trying to get back into shape like that. I was cut up. I was lean. My energy level was through the roof. Chicks was all over me. Like, this is through our Bally Total Fitness consultation. The ones that were serious about their goals always got a personal trainer. Always. All of them always got a personal trainer. Now, tie that in with business. The ones that were serious, the ones that are serious about their goals in succeeding, either either making $100,000, a million dollars, $5 million, $10 million, you cannot show me one entrepreneur, high performing entrepreneur who has not got a mentor. So there, you're tying it in right there. The ones that want to achieve their goals in fitness always got a personal trainer. The ones that always want to succeed in being a high level performer in business always got a mentor. Y'all feel me? Now, what happens in, in working out, right? When you start working out, there is a few things that happen. You know that you're not going to see immediate re- results from your workouts. But you know with the proper training, the right eating habits, and the discipline, you will see results. Guaranteed. So it teaches you discipline. Working out teaches you discipline. It teaches you delayed gratification because you know you're not going to see the results immediately. It's going to take a while, especially if you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to shape and tone at the same time. Ladies, fellas, if you want to put on size and you want to have uh, a low, low body fat index, right? We want to get cut up. We want to have the six pack. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Hmm? I'm talking about when you take off all your clothes and then you look in the mirror and you're like, God damn, I look good. Huh? No Rolex, no nothing. Hmm? No gold chain hanging from you, nothing. Your body is the gold chain. Your body is the, the Rolex. Huh? Is this thing on? So it teaches that discipline. It teaches you delayed gratification. It teaches you consistency. It teaches you expectancy. Believe it or not. Expectancy. You expect to see results. That's projecting yourself into the future. When you expect to see results, you get a mentor in business and this mentor of yours is a high performer. You expect to see results like that high performer if you do what that mentor is telling you to do. You expect to see your biceps grow a couple of inches. Your your, your tummy slims down. Hmm? Definition in your shoulders, your energy level goes up when your personal trainer, who looks fit as well, executes and tells you what you need to do. This is what you need to do for your eating habits. You need to prep your meal. You need to have some protein shakes. You need to do drink more water. You need to hit the treadmill 30 to 45 minutes every time you go. You know what I'm saying? That shit is lit. So, 
If you want to get your business into shape, I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. Go to TigerToledo.com. Okay? So you can see what I got going on. Go to TigerToledo.com. And check my resume. Don't take my word for it. Look at my students. Do I discriminate? Absolutely. Who I want to come into my camp. Because you are a reflection of my brand. You're a reflection of me. So therefore, I want you to succeed, but at at the same time, I want you to look like success too. I don't care if you're wearing a Walmart t-shirt. I want you to look physically fit. I don't want you to wait for your doctor to tell you that, oh, if you don't do this, well, you're not going to see your daughter graduate. Or you'll never see your son get married. Like, why do you need to get hit with a catastrophe like that for you to get yourself into shape? Working out is closely related to being successful in business. I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to, I'm planting my flag in there. Because I see the correlation. Everyone that I've met that were highly successful, minus maybe a couple of, there's a couple of oomph loomphas out there that, you know, they were able to leverage their, their selves and shit. But majority of people that I've seen, somehow, some way, they were in the gym working out. They were very conscious about their health. And then I could go into the dor- endorphins that you that gets released. I can go into like some of the other stuff that happens, the chemicals that gets released while you're working out which also helps you with clarity, focus. You know. But at this point in this new age, there's a lot of chiefs out there. But there's not enough savage beasts. If you're willing to be a savage beast, go to TigerToledo.com. And let's get it cracking. You heard? Peace and love.